Greetings friend, Grace here. Welcome to Grace in the Field. I am super glad that you took the time to join me today. You know, this life has a lot of difficult things in it and we wrestle with these things day in and day out. And sometimes there's a little bit of rest and then something else comes up. Um, the difficulty comes from the sin that we see in our world, from the pain that is in our world, um, the suffering, there's a lot of a lot of that, and um, I want to share this song with you because this song came out of a place of hearing um, about some of that suffering in the life of someone that was very close to me, and um, just recognizing that, you know, all of us as people have gone astray. We've all turned away from God, um, and even as we come back to Christ, as even as we come to Christ and the life that is in Christ, there's a lot of, of healing that needs to be done um, in the way that we um, interact with one another and in the way that we interact with ourselves and the way that we interact with God. So I wanna share a little bit um, from Isaiah with you. This is Isaiah um, chapter six, verses five through seven. And here, Isaiah has just seen God on his throne in his glory. And Isaiah, in seeing this image, is struck by his human depravity. He says, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For I have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim, to me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. Guys, this picture of the living coal is the picture of Christ who comes to touch us, to cleanse our sins, to, to cleanse our iniquities. He has come, he has come, and he's present in the middle of the pain and in the middle of the hardship. And so I hope that's what you take away from this song today, that you know, no matter what's going on, whether you're experiencing the effects of your sin or someone else's sin in your life, um, you can have hope and the one who who's carried all of that for surely he he's born our sin he's carried our shame um and now we belong to him so i hope that you enjoy the song it's called mercy seat god you see
Amen. He is our hope. He is the God who hears and he is the God who sees. So let us come to him again in the midst of the difficulty and place our trust in him again, who will never fail us. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you in the next video.